Hi there, Paul in Perth here. As you can see, I've been uh, released out on day release from my hospital and I thought I'd come down to um, Circular Quay uh, just to show you around. I know uh, a lot of you probably haven't been to Australia, probably pretty interested to see um, some of the sights. So as you can see behind me is the um, Sydney Harbour Bridge and um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna catch the ferry out to Manly um, because that'll take me past the Opera House. So we'll be able to see that as well. Uh, in terms of my health journey, uh, the Klexane um, injections are every night. I, I did query it and it turns out that um, that is standard practice at the hospital for people that are there for a long period of time. And the reason is to prevent them getting clots in their, um, in their legs mainly, so deep vein thrombosis. Uh, which sounds weird because I am there eventually to have surgery. Um, I then had it pointed out to me by one of the nursing staff that Klexane has a half-life of five hours. So all they need to do is discontinue the Klexane the day before your surgery, and by the time your surgery comes about, um, your blood will be back to normal. So I am getting Klexane every day, and uh, everything's okay in that regard. I had my contrast MRI, yesterday so we've got all the diagnostics done uh, in my work up to my surgery so now it's just a matter of the um, the experts having a look at that information and then scheduling me in for for the operation so um, that's where that's at so uh, let's go catch a ferry and let's go uh, see what a trip out to Manly looks like here we go When I was a young kid, these apartment blocks didn't exist. And you could stand over there in Circular Quay and you could look over here and you'd be able to see the Sydney Opera House on one side and the Sydney Harbour Bridge on the other. But now that these apartments are here, you actually have to wait until you get around this corner here. And as you come around this corner, all of a sudden, Wait for it, wait for it. There you go. The Sydney Opera House. October, so it's not even summer. There's definitely people in the water, definitely people with their um, bathers on to be a good time. So this is Manly. It's a good place to good place to visit. So I guess what a valid question you'd have right now would be how am I really? Uh, because of course I tend to only post the, the times that I'm happy and uh, up for filming. Um, but that's not always the case. And I would say that sometimes uh, 
lately I am I do cry most days um, I have cried today uh, but I'm feeling okay right now so there's a real variety of, um, of emotions that, that go into my day uh, but it's really quite challenging I've got that equalizing thing in my ears right now so it's just sounding a bit weird to me uh, Look, I'm nervous about how the operation's going to go. Um, I'm in that horrible phase where I know it's coming and now I just have to wait for it, uh, but it hasn't happened yet. So I guess all I can do is wait and, uh, and deal with it. I would also say it's hard seeing Jenny Apple go through what she's going through at the moment and Kyle, and knowing, of course, that um, Sarah Pogg and, uh, and Josh went through things recently of a similar nature and just wondering whether I'm gonna go down a similar, uh, similar route. But, um, it all feels very real, is what I would say. And I know that when I go into that operation in, I'm guessing it's about two weeks time. However I come out, it'll be different to how I go in and it'll be permanent. So I don't know whether I'll have a colostomy bag or an ostomy bag or uh, what bodily functions I will lose. Um, but I know I have to do it. And uh, I don't know, it's hard to take. I'm, I am struggling a bit with it, to be honest. But, but it has to be done. Anyway, I'll leave it at that. Um, my shirt today is uh, Darth Vader playing uh, bass guitar because uh, if there was one instrument that Darth Vader would play, it would be bass. Oh, sorry, I said bass guitar. There's no such thing. It's a bass. Uh, and also Gene Simmons. If anyone is going to be Gene Simmons, it's definitely Darth Vader. So just put it out there. All right. I'll talk to you again soon. Catch up. Look at that, Jim, my 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 Jim, my